So real quick, I'm gonna go over how to use a multimeter. Now, this is just one type of multimeter that we have in our lab. Um, there are a number of different types, but the basic layout is the same for all of them. So if you look, there'll be a number of different uh, numbers as well as letters around this middle knob. Now these are the different things that can be measured. So the main things that you will be measuring with your multimeter will be um, different voltages. So you'll see a V for voltage and then different currents. Instead of seeing a C for currents, you're going to see an A for amps because you're measuring um, amps. You're not measuring currents. You are measuring currents, but you do you understand? You're measuring the current, which has an SI unit of amps. Now, these different numbers help you when you're measuring. So, don't know if you can quite see, but here you see a 2, above it is a 20, and then a 200. Those are the different limits that you will be able to measure. So, they'll either add or subtract significant digits or tell you th that the uh, that the current setting that you have it on will overload if you go past 2 volts or 20 volts. Okay? So you won't get a you won't get a, a legitimate reading off of those if you um, overload them. So real quick, I'm going to show you how to take a voltage reading as well as a current reading. It's very important that you know what you're reading because it is a different setup with your multimeter. So for a voltage, today I'm just going to set up a real simple circuit so it'll have power running from the power supply to the resistor, across the resistor, and then back to the power supply. Okay, so you're going to notice that on your power supply, you'll see a red terminal and a black terminal. And then again, I used a red wire and then a black wire to color code. Now, in, in general electronics, red is for positive and black is for uh, negative or ground. And you'll see that on your multimeter that there is a black terminal a red terminal and then two yellow terminals. For the multimeter, black is your common port, which will be plugged in for all measurements that you take with the multimeter. Red will be, in our case, voltage. So we'll have volts on this side, take voltage readings using this terminal, and then these two yellow ports are for reading current. Okay, so it's always really important that you keep track of what you're doing, and so as much organization as possible is helpful. So when taking voltage measurements, what's really cool is that you, you just really have to come in contact with what you're trying to read. We're going to attach our, our multimeter in parallel with our circuit to get a voltage reading. Now, when you are just measuring voltage, your multimeter can also be referred to as a voltmeter. When it is reading just current, it can be referred to as a ammeter. So, voltmeter is reading voltage, ammeter is reading current. Again, we're going to go ahead and color code to get our voltage reading. So, I'm going to do black for common, and I'm going to do red for positive or voltage. Okay, so I've got this, I've got our two wires, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to alligator clip these to each side of our resistor. So a good thing to do before you uh, turn on the power or take any measurements is to trace your uh, circuit. So we're going to make sure that our positive or our power is going through our positive terminal, connecting with our resistor, going over our resistor, and then back to the common or ground. Okay? And because we're reading our voltage in parallel, we want to make sure that our, our 
uh, our red cord or our positive uh, cord is plugged into V for voltage. Going to make sure that it goes straight to our resistor and then our COM is back to our common terminal. So we can go ahead and now turn on the power because we've already traced through and we will also turn on our and our multimeter or voltmeter and I've got about a little bit more than five volts running across our resistor right now and so you can see on our multimeter that it's reading 5.66 now if I were to turn it this knob up one we would lose a significant digit so we would only get point we would get 0 0.5 0.6 but if we were to go down to our 2 we would see an OL we'd see an OL which is overload which means at this at this point you cannot get a significant reading for the voltage that you have running so we'll go ahead and go back to 20 and see that we have 5.65 volts running So the next thing I want to show you is how to take a current reading. Um, now the difference between voltage and current is how you, how you interact with the circuit. So for taking a voltage reading, we take, our, uh, we take our reading in parallel with our system. So we kind of piggyback on and then we go straight to our multimeter. But with, with reading current, we have to break our circuit and read and, and have our multimeter jump into it so it is in series with our circuit. So what we're going to do is we're going to break our circuit. So now our, our power goes just straight to this cord. It's not connected to our resistor except for the ground. So right now we do not have current flowing because we have a broken circuit. So what we will do is we will go ahead and take another cord. We'll go ahead and attach it to our, our, power, our, our power supply. So we are now putting our multimeter in series with our circuit. Now I'm going to plug into the yellow ammeter port or the yellow milliamps port in general because you, you see in general you will use the milliamps port rather than the amps unless you're specifically directed to do so but what you'll go ahead and do is for this situation we'll plug into our milliamp port with our red so we'll do red to yellow where we would red to yellow and then our common or our ground will be the one that closes the circuit. So again, we'll go ahead and tr trace our circuit to make sure that everything is connected correctly and safely. So we'll go from our power supply, our ammeter has gotten into our circuit and it's coming, we have it going, we have our current going through our ammeter and then out to our resistor and then back into the ground of our power supply. So now we have a closed circuit where we're able to take measurements for current. Okay, um, another important thing to take note of is whenever you are not using the multimeter, it is very important that you turn it off. These batteries, they fly. They're like battery candy. And so you need to be very aware of that. Um, and then again, before you turn on anything make sure you are um, cleared by an instructor or a TA. Other than that you're all good to go. Have a great week and I hope this was awesome.